Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make subtitles just like these. We're talking about my thoughts on how to save Bed Wars, okay? We're doing it. Make sure to watch till the end of the video so you don't miss anything. Anyways, enjoy the video. Find your timeline and you're going to drag in all your footage onto it. Once you finish showing that, I highly recommend me doing the track with back on always to have better results later on. You can do that by clicking the end on the track. Once you finish that, you let me go up to the window and find text. This panel should pop up. They're going to flick transcript. And this is where you see the transcript of your entire video. You'll see there are a lot of errors, but I'll be telling you how to fix those. You'll see that this is wrong. It's not high pixel, it's high pixel. You can change that by selecting it and then typing in the correct spelling. Keep doing this until all the errors are fixed. This may take a while, but trust me, it's worth it. For the sake of this video, I'll just be saying that all the errors are fixed, but I recommend actually doing it. We'll get a lot of angry or confused comments. <coughs> Any race. Next, you're just like captions on the top. Select create captions from transcript, open this section, and find maximum length and characters. Move this to round 20, set the minimum duration to round two that I took the do a little lower. And for a line, select single, create captions. Now you'll see a new layer has appeared called subtitle. The transcript will be transported here. And now you can see all of the things you just fixed are here. Select all the subtitles layer, click window, quick essential graphics. Now, on the right, you'll see this panel just popped up. Right here is the font. I recommend something like Riffic or Hey Comic. If you want to install a font, it's really easy. All you have to do is find a free download on Google and then download the file. Afterwards, open it and click Install, and then it'll appear. Once you finish selecting a font, change the font size right here to a little over 100. My push is to go around 110. Once you finish doing so, find zone and put it to the center. They'll change the position later, but for now, just put it in the center. Now scroll down where you see struck. Turn it on, select the color, and pick a color of your choice. For this video, I'm gonna make it a nice blue. But before clutching out the stroke, make sure to select the hex color right view. Control C. For the struck wick, I recommend something around 7 to 11 that for this video, I'll just be doing them. Now find shadow, click the color, and Control V, paste it in the hex color of your stroke. Make it a little darker, just like that. Click OK. Select so the direction to around 1E, e, select the distance to around 12, and for the rest, just do zero. That looks really nice. Now click plus, and this is where you'll make your glow. Do the same thing, just as the shadow, but except make it a little lighter. For the opacity, I recommend around 40. To the distance, it does not matter. For the rest, it does not matter either. Decides the blur, which you'll accept to 250. Before moving on, quick search and type in period. I recommend removing all the periods because it looks a little cleaner. So you're going to type in period, quick replace, and just click replace all. This will remove all the periods in your subtitles. Now select subtitles, click graphics and titles, and click every caption to graphic. Now all your subtitles are graphics and you can add a clean transition. Click window, quick effects. I'll leave a couple presets, which you can stop by clicking the lines right here and click import presets and then selecting the file. But for this video, I'll just be using Tommy scale, which is the preset Tommy and it eases. Make sure to drag it on. And now if you click play, your subtitles will look really clean. Now you're almost done. Select all your subtitles by quick and quick nest. The name doesn't matter, but now you can go to window, quick essential controls, and then find position. You're gonna make the second line down to your liking. Right here is really nice. So now you're done. Make sure to unneath the track if you move it previously. Thanks so much for watching this video. If this video hits 100 likes, I teach you how to automatically cut up your commentary videos. Anyways, subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions. Peace out.